Here we go back again with another video and yes, the previous video information, you know, I got sourced out this afternoon, had to wait a little while to upload that video. As soon as I get any information, I will pass it on to you. That's what I do. Now, we all like different kinds of sauces, don't we? We do. Some people like Tesco's barbecue. Some people like a bit of Hellman's barbecue. Some people even like a bit of HP. Classic barbecue. And we've even got the old original HP sauce. But I have a special sauce and I do like this sauce very much. Very special sauce. So... Since the last video was confirmed, had me tea, was about to go and get a shower when I got another bit of information. And I will pass this information on to you as I always try and do. Remember, this is never 100% correct, but the majority of the time, I would say 99.9% of the time, it is correct. Now, apparently Tony Mowbray has been up for a second interview today. Tony Mowbray has been for a second interview today and it will be announced bet between now and Wednesday that he will be in charge of Sunderland. Tony Mowbray will be the next head coach slash manager of Sunderland and to all reports he will take training tomorrow. So Tony Mowbray, yes, not my first choice but we welcome you to the Stadium of Light and I hope you have a successful time at Sunderland. At the end of the day, we'll support. Sunderland fans will support the manager when he comes in. It may not be the ones that we fancy. It may not be a nice, polished, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic new manager. But at the end of the day, he has the credentials. He has the experience and he can keep us in this division and prove, hopefully, we can get, you know, build on what Alex Neil has done over this last season and improve the squad and keep this and eventually get us in the Premier League. So Tony Mowbray is 58 years of age, born in 1963, Saltburn, England. He was a six foot one English defender. Well, yes, he played 348 games for Middlesbrough. Now, a lot of people out there don't want him as manager for the whole Middlesbrough connection and things that he did see as Middlesbrough manager, probably towards Sunderland. And because, you know, the rivalry was there at the time, the rivalry is there now. He's a much older person now, and he will still give 100% for Sunderland. He will still give 100% for the job he is going to be paid to be done. He went to Celtic and he played there, and he went to Ipswich as well. He played for three teams only. So he's a loyal, a loyal, a loyal player at the time. Now, managerial, he was a caretaker manager at Ipswich back in 2002. Two. He went to Hibs for two years, went to West Brom for three, Celtic for one, then Middlesbrough for 13, Coventry for one, and then he spent from 2017 to 2022 at Blackburn as the manager. Just recently packed in at Blackburn. Now, was he sacked at Blackburn? I'm not quite... He was appointment Blackburn Rovers manager in 2017. He wasn't able to to prevent Rovers being relegated to League One, but then he won promotion back to the Championship at the first time of Asken. First time of Asken. So there we go, his coaching career. Let's see a bit more what it says at the bottom of Blackburn. We'll have a little read through this towards the end. Right. In 19, in 2019-2020 season, Mowbray secured 11th place finish in the Championship in the EFL Cup, they reached the second round before defeat the Sheffield United. The club were beaten in the third round of the FA Cup by fellow side Birmingham City. Mowbray left at the conclusion of his contract in May 2022 and was replaced by John Dahl Thompson. Thompson, as we call him, as head coach. He served five years. He served five years. He served five years at Blackburn. So he saw out, saw out, his contract and then the left on mutual terms so there we go it will be announced between now and Wednesday that Tony Mowbray will be the new Sunderland manager and like I said he does take up training 
tomorrow with the lads. So hopefully we'll get our first win under the new regime of Tony Mowbray on Wednesday night against Rotherham. Let me know your thoughts on Tony Mowbray. There's a lot of people out there do not want him to come to Sunderland. A lot of people out there said he has the experience, he has the knowledge, so why not have him at Sunderland? End of the day, he's here now, so I wish him all the best. He gets my 100% back in and we move on and opens and we forget about the last manager or head coach. What was his name? Alexi? 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 Alex? Alex? Alex Neil! Yes! Well, we'll forget about Alex Neil. I wish him all the best of stuff. Right, take care. God bless me. God go with you. And we'll see you tomorrow with a mad mistake. Enjoy your night. Time to go and get a wash now. What am I going to do with all these sauces? <laughs>